the happiest Hermia. Wheresoever she lies, for she hath blessed and attractive eyes. How came her eyes so bright? Not the salt tears. If so, my eyes are often washed than hers. run away for fear, therefore no marvel, though Demetrius do as a monster fly my presence thus. What wicked and dissembling glass of mine made me compare with Hermia's fiery eyes? But who is here? Lysander on the ground dead, or Asleep. I see no blood, no wounds. Life, Sandra, if you live, good sir, awake. And run through fire I will for thy sweet sake. Oh, transparent Helena! Nature shows art that through thy bosom makes me see thy heart. Oh, where is Demetrius? How fit a word is that vile name to perish on my sword? Say not so, Lysander. Say not so. What though he love your Hermia Lord? What though? Yet Hermia still loves you. Then be content. Content with Hermia? No. I do repent the tedious minutes I with her have spent. Not Hermia, but Helena I love. Who oh, not change a raven for a dove? The will of man is by his reasons weighed, and reason says you are the worthier made. Things growing are not ripe until their season, so I, being young till now, write not the reason. And touching now the point of human skill, reason becomes the marshal to my will, and leads me to your eyes where I overlook love's stories written, love's richest book. Wherefore was I to this keen mockery born? When at your hands did I deserve this scorn? Is it not enough? Is it not enough? Young man, like it never. No, nor never can. Deserve a sweet look from Demetrius's eye. But you must flout my insufficiency. Good twelfth, you do me wrong. Good sooth, you do in such disdainful manner me to woo. But fare you well. Perforce, I must confess, I thought you, Lord, of more true gentleness. No! That a lady of one man refused should of another therefore be abused. Oh, what 